Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. What once was cheap and easy to find is now a pretty penny and often scarce. But these wings are organic, and for some reason, they're half the price, so we're going with it. Preparing the wing is really very simple, and not much different from our own arms. You have the bicep, the forearm, and the wrist. And we're going to cut through at the elbow, and separate the upper arm from the lower arm. Very simple. Now the wing tip will come right off at the wrist, right through the center, it comes right off. No big deal. Now you literally can knock all of these out in just a matter of minutes, even if you've never done this before. Seriously. Now, all we're going to do is dredge it in a little bit of flour, but we're going to season it a little bit here. A little special blend here. A little cayenne, pepper, paprika, a little bit of garlic, salt. Stir that up, give it a good mix, and then we're going to dredge all the wings in it. Now I know for a fact my fryer can handle 10 to 12 of these at a time, and that's in a crock pot sized fryer. Now, what you don't want to do is overcrowd your fryer, but what you do want to do is make sure everything you're frying is evenly coated with this here dredged flour mix, okay? So, make sure you give them all a complete solid toss before you throw them in the fryer. Frying peanut oil 375 degrees. Cooking time, 8 to 10 minutes. Now I know a 2 minute window seems like a pretty big gap, but that depends on how cold your wings are when they're going in. The colder they are, the longer they gotta cook. Once the time has expired, you can see that they turn out beautiful golden brown. At that point, feel safe to know that you can pull them out. So don't be shy. Go ahead and reach out and grab that handle. Lift them up and out and let them rest for a few. If not, paper towel them at least to soak up the grease. While those are resting, get yourself a good sized bowl and then dump the remaining wings in the bowl so you can toss them in your favorite sauce. Now this is what I'm gonna use. The reason why is because I think it's the perfect sauce mostly because of how user friendly it is. It's not too spicy and it's not mild either. You know, so you get a real happy medium. Even though the label says hot, it's really not. But you'll like it all the same because all the flavor's still in it. Just give it a good toss and then get ready to serve. Oh yeah, these are the goods. Look at that, zoom in close. It's still steaming. <laughs> Oh, those look good. And I know how good they're going to taste because I've already had them. <laughs> Not to rub it in, but here you have it. Buffalo wings in the poor man's gourmet kitchen.